What's going on, y'all? It's your boy DJ Trackmas once again. Uh, and this is part two of my video, pretty much, you know, attempting to help all of the, the newcomers out there about Serato DJ and about uh, keeping their files uh, in check, pretty much, uh, you know, as far as downloading music and things like that. Um, basically, in this uh, part two of the video, uh, we're basically just going to be going over uh, how to how to keep all of your files all together in Serato and keep your folders and crates and things like that together uh, in, in Serato, Serato DJ, Scratch Live. And, and keep in mind that as you guys see a picture of Serato DJ uh, on the screen here, uh, just realize that this does work for Scratch Live as well. And this also works for Serato Intro as well too for uh, the select few that maybe use an intro. Uh, but, but nonetheless, this does work for Serato DJ, Serato Intro, and Scratch Live. It works for, even for Itch as well. Serato Itch as well for the people that still have to use Itch. Uh, so, as everybody, um, if you don't know how Serato looks or what it's all about, basically, um, if you're paying attention to my icon here, uh, on, this, uh, on the left side of the screen here where I have the icon located, this is where you have all your crates. Your different crates and sub crates and things like that. Um, always recommended to uh, to use you know uh, use sub crates of different genres and things like that if you if you could do so because that keeps things uh, much more organized in Serato. Uh, so the the one food for thought that I would I will let you guys know is whatever you guys do, especially when you're using Max. Don't use iTunes to, to uh, dictate your Serato. Don't use iTunes to do it. iTunes will eventually screw you all up. Use all of, all of your music that you download or any music that you download. Nine out of 10 DJs will not put any music on their MacBook or their computer for at all. They, my recommendation is to always put your music on an external hard drive, okay? Um, reason being is because it's very simple. Number one, if you have an issue with your MacBook and you have to back up all of that music, um, you know, in, in cases where people may have two, three, four gigs of music, you know, if that happens, then how long are you going to be backing that up? That's the thing. And if you have an issue with your computer, then what ends up happening is you have to take this in, and if you didn't back something up properly, then you didn't you don't have all of your music. So it's always better to have your music on an external hard drive. Don't put anything in internal at all. And then on top of that too, it keeps your keeps your laptop running fresh and and silky smooth, and not having to worry about too much of uh you know the 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 you know the foolishness going on where if you have too much stuff going on on your hard drive uh, on your on your actual computer so with that being said um let's get right into it so basically again these are your crates and things like that that you would have on your left side of the screen and, and sub crates and things like that um basically i'm just closing out some of my uh sub crates here so that you could kind of get a lower down version on what i have going on here okay so as you as you recall probably in the first video what we were talking about was the folders and how we created the folders and actually took those for you know took those folders through google chrome put the music that we wanted that we downloaded from google chrome and put them onto those folders d directly all those folders popped up with, uh, uh, and they were all updated everything worked great so Let's go back to those folders real quick. So we did two songs from Hip Hop 2014 and two from R&B 2014. So one thing that I do, um, which has always been beneficial to me with Serato because I've, I've heard of so many people having so many issues, is very simple. What I've done was I've taken my Serato and I've labeled my music and my, I've labeled my music in Serato the same exact way that I've labeled uh, my folders in my hard drive. So let's take a prime example here. Let's go to hip hop. So let's go to, uh, let's see, let's go to my hip hop section right here. This is my folder for hip hop. And then when I click on that folder, I have all my subfolders, okay? So all my subfolders will have, uh, you know, hip hop 2014 vids, 
uh, you know, old school hip hop, uh, this and that, hip hop 2013, hip hop 2014, right? So, this is my hip hop 2014 folder right here that I have that I just clicked on, okay? These are all my tracks that I have on my hip hop 2014, okay? These are all my tracks that I have in that folder right now. These same exact tracks will be in this folder, in this Hip Hop 2014 folder as well. All of these tracks will be in that particular folder. Okay? So, what do we do in that sense? Well, let me take this and take this off for a second as I'm doing stuff on the fly here. <laughs> but uh, what would I do in this sense now? Okay, so, remember, the Ace Hood, the Ace Hood files are the ones that we just downloaded. As you can see on here, Ace Hood is not on here. Let's just double check and see what the name of that song is. The name of the song is Every Day, okay? So, that fold up, that is not on here right now, okay? And let's just make sure of that. Let's just go on here and type it. Ace Hood. Ace Hood. And you see I typed in Ace Hood here, but nothing pops up under Hip Hop 2014, right? So what do we have to do there? We have to update this particular folder, right? So let's make this real easy. This is what we're gonna do. Very simple to do. You click on your finder, and you make sure that you have all this set up, right? You make sure you highlight your Hip Hop 2014 folder. Highlight it real quick. Go to the folder here, hold it down, and simply drag it over all the way to Hip Hop 2014. Let it go. It's reading it on the bottom here, it's reading what it needs to read. So basically anything new, it's reading. It's not gonna double anything in here, okay? So now basically when we go back in, you see Ace Hood there now. So now, if we type in Ace Hood, Ace Hood, see, it already pops up. Ace Hood every day. So that's the only track that is new that was on Hip Hop 2014 that updated because I did nothing simply but just dragging my updated folder from my hard drive, dragging it directly to Serato DJ. Let's do it again. So, let's go back to our finder and let's go back to the hard drive. So this is the hard drive, the all music folder, and another one that we did was R&B 2014. Now when we click on R&B 2014, you'll see that we have one, two, three, four new tracks that we just put on here, okay? This uh, two on track and then nobody but you track, okay? All of these, okay? These are the newest songs that we have on there. So what will we do in this sense? We would go back to Serato, and I'm gonna just for ease of your viewing, I'm gonna take that off and I'm gonna go to my R&B section, click on that folder, and then get to my R&B 2014 folder. Now remember the names of the songs on here are two on and nobody but you, right? So let's type in two on, two on. That popped up, okay? So I must have did this earlier, okay? So two on and then nobody but you. Nobody. And I just typed in nobody but nothing comes up, okay? So, what do we do in this sense? Now, let's go ahead and get out of here. Go back to our finder. And we're gonna go to that RMB 2014 folder, highlight it, take it, drag it over, all the way to where it says RMB 2014. Let go. It'll put the newest tracks that you put on the folder over here in your hard drive. It'll drag everything over over here, and the newest songs will be on here. No doubles at all. So for those that think that if you drag this whole folder over to R&B 2014 over here, and thinks that it's gonna double everything that's in here now, it will not, okay? So now that we drag that over, let's now type in nobody. N-O-B-O-D-Y and it already popped up, nobody but you, okay? So, though, so now, that song is located in your R&B 2014 folder. So case in point, everybody, the best way, the best way to make sure that you have 
everything efficient between your hard drive and Serato DJ, Serato Scratch Live, Serato, uh, Intro, whatever it is you're using, the best way to do it would be pretty simple as to just simply creating the, the same folder that you have in your hard drive, make that same folder in Serato as well. Same folder in here, make it in here. RMB 2014, RMB 2014. So, what's the easy way to do this? Let me show you. So I'm gonna go onto my hard drive here, okay? So I'm gonna go onto my hard drive. I'm gonna click on all music, okay? Now what I'm gonna do, I'm just doing it for just, for, for just giggles right now. So basically what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna create a brand new folder, okay? And I'm just gonna put Hip Hop 2015. Hip Hop 2015, okay? Okay, I just made a new folder for Hip Hop 2015, okay? Now, of course, we don't have a folder in Serato at all with Hip Hop 2015 in it. Let's go to Hip Hop so you see what I mean. So once we go to Hip Hop, as you can see, there are no See, 2012, 2013, 2014. There is no Hip Hop 2015 file, right? So what will we do in this sense? Because there's no Hip Hop 2015 file here, what we can simply do is this. We go back to our folder. We take that Hip Hop 2015 file and we drag it over. And don't let go until you get all the way to the bottom of the screen where there's nothing. Right? As you can see, there's nothing here. Once you do that, let go. And look what happens. You just created a folder or a crate that says Hip Hop 2015. So you made this file look exactly like the file that is in your hard drive. Okay? Remember what I said in the first, uh, the first uh, video where I basically told you guys that Serato does nothing but wants to look for the actual location or path on wherever the music is at. That's what Serato wants to see. If it cannot read the path, it will not read the file, and therefore you will have corrupt files. Okay? So if you make sure that your files in Serato and your uh, that your crates, I'm sorry, in your, in Serato and your crates in your hard drive are exactly the same. It will make a world of difference for you and make things a thousand times easier for you to manage in Serato. Okay? This is extremely vital for people because simply, I know a lot of people out there that simply have like an all music folder and then they just bam all their music in there, whether it be hip hop, R&B, club, house, Merengue, salsa, reggaeton, trance, EDM, everything in one all music folder. And then when they try to find something, they just simply can't find it. Okay? And that's the reason why you can't find it. It's because you don't have your stuff labeled properly. Make sure at all times that you have all your stuff labeled properly. Okay? Now if I did now if I did something like this where uh, I created this hip hop 2015 folder and I created this one which has nothing in it. Okay? If I have nothing in this one, then I could just simply erase it. Okay? Or on Mac, of course, uh, you could just simply hit control, tap it, and then you can either delete it or you can move it to trash. Which in this case, I'll move it to trash. Okay? And then once you go over to Hip Hop 2015 over here, as you know, nothing's in it. You just hit Control Delete, and it'll delete that. It'll delete that particular uh, crate. Okay, so I really hope that this particular video uh, kind of helps you guys out as far as trying to keep your your files and your folders, um, you know, just looking properly. It's very important that you, that you keep everything looking just the same as it does on your actual hard drives. When you look at the hip hop, you know, hip hop 2014, over here, you see the same thing, hip hop 2014. When you see hip hop 2013, same thing here, hip hop 2013. You see, hip, you see house 2014. 
if I get off of here and I get off of this here and I go to house and dance and I click on my subfolders from there, you see house 2014. The reason why I tell you guys to do that is simple because if I have something new on house 2014, I can simply just take it, drag it over to house 2014 and then all the stuff brand new will automatically just pop on to house 2014 directly on Serato and therefore you have no issues whatsoever as far as getting them analyzed, making sure you have your tracks, things of that sort. It takes time to make sure guys that you that you 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 take the time out at least an hour and a day or so to make sure that all your tracks are analyzed. Make sure that uh, because it's pretty simple to analyze a track, you just simply go here and click analyze files and your files get analyzed. And, and even though it says it's, that it's doing 9,000, uh, processing 9,000, look where it's at already. It's already at 2,000 because a bunch of them are already fine. Okay? So it's analyzing all these tracks. It's going to be done in no time. It's not going to take long to finish these tracks, which is really good. Let's see. Uh, the, the Algebra Blessed song is now getting analyzed. So now that that's getting analyzed, you know that's going to work officially for you in Serato DJ. And that's one of the newest songs that we put, Ace Hood, every day. That's getting analyzed as well. So all the other songs will automatically be analyzed, and you see it's going very fast now at this point. And so don't ever get worried when you see it has to analyze over maybe 10,000 songs or so. Um, on my hard drive, I have well over probably 80,000 songs, so I don't have a whole lot to analyze. But I do make sure that I analyze everything that I need to do. Okay, so I hope that this really made it easy for you guys to understand. Um, if you have any questions or any comments, please leave them below. Uh, make sure again that you guys follow me on Twitter and uh, Instagram at DJ Track Mass. Make sure you subscribe to my page as well. Um, any other videos that you guys may want me to put up, give me the insight, give me input. I'll definitely look them over and um, and put them up there for you. Uh, again, this is your man, DJ Track Mask, and ready to sign off. Uh, again, I appreciate everybody tuning in and, and taking heed to the, the information I'm giving them. If there's something that I may be mistaken about, please correct me as I am a man that could definitely take criticism. I'm cool with that. And I know I'm not right about everything because I'm not a tech guy. Okay? But at the end of the day, I'm a guy that just wants to help out everybody out there that wants to help. So I appreciate everybody tuning in and listening. And uh, if you have any anything else that you need help with, please feel free uh, to uh, you know follow me, give me some insight, tweet me, do whatever you want to do, and um, and uh, we'll definitely make an effort to help you out in every which way I possibly can. All right, this is your man DJ Track Mass signing off. Holla. <laughs>